this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. I'll talk with you about some of the new tools in Beersmith 2. We're going to start with a water profile tool. And here you can actually determine uh, additions for your water profile. And we've actually added a lot to this tool now. You can start with a base profile. For example, let's start with some bottled water. And a target profile. So for example, we want to make uh, Dublin, Ireland. And believe it or not, you can push the button down here, calculate best additions. And it will actually uh, automatically calculate the best amount of water additions to add to reach this target par profile, starting with this bottled water. And you can also go in and dilute it as well. So this is a, a pretty powerful stuff here that we've added. Uh, basically a single button that allows you to calculate your water additions. The infusion tool actually uh, does all your calculations if you're doing mash infusions. So for example, you can calculate either the initial strike water needed or you can calculate uh, the temperature needed for a given strike. I'm sorry, a given step. So if you want to go from one step to another, you just type in the parameters here and it'll estimate how much water you need to add and what temperature that water needs to be at. The decoction volume tool uh, allows you to do decoctions. So it gives you, uh, it's given an initial step temperature and uh, the parameters for the, the starting parameters for your particular mash. You can actually calculate how much volume you need to decoct. There's a mash adjust tool here. What that allows you to do is if your mash strike is a little bit off, let's say you're uh, off by four degrees in your mash, you can actually enter the temperatures and the parameters here. And it'll calculate either how much uh, boiling water you need to add or how much cold water you need to add to get your mash back in line, to get it back to the temperature that you desired. Uh, the new yeast starter tool, which I actually have detailed in a separate video, allows you to determine how large a yeast starter you need for liquid yeast samples, for example. And that's a very powerful tool. It's got a lot of features built into it. Uh, again, that's covered completely in another video. The hydrometer adjust tool is a fairly simple tool that allows you to uh, adjust your gravity readings if you're using a hydrometer. So, for example, if you take a reading at, say, 150 degrees Fahrenheit or, or another high temperature, uh, it actually needs to be adjusted back down to room temperature because, uh, because hydrometers are all calibrated at about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so that tool's there for you that. We have a refractometer tool, which I, again, have a separate video on, but it, it allows you to, to uh, calculate wart gravities and uh, for unfermented wart, fermenting wart, and original gravity given a finished beer, uh, do all those calculations directly using your uh, refractometer. There's an alcohol and attenuations tool that uh, given a starting gravity and a final gravity, you can calculate all these different parameters about your beer. There's a new hop bitterness tool where you can add hops in here using the add button and it'll calculate how much uh, bitterness you're adding to your beer. Of course, many of these tools like the hop bitterness tool are integrated into the recipe as well. So if you design a recipe using Beersmith, you don't necessarily have to use these, but, but these standalone tools are, are very handy for doing quick calculations. There's a hop aging tool for determining uh, how much alpha or percentage or how much uh, bitterness your, your hops has lost uh, sitting in the refrigerator for the last six months, for example. And uh, it has different storage parameters and, and temperatures you can enter here. So if you've got a really old uh, set of hops, you can decide whether it's still viable or not. You generally consider uh, hops viable if it's got at least 50% of its starting alpha value. Uh, there's a boil off tool that allows you to calculate uh, boil off. So if you're start given a, start a starting volume of boil a boiling volume, you can calculate what percentage you lost uh, during the boil. There's a water needed tool that very closely uh, mirrors the water needed tab inside of the recipe calculator but it allows you to sort of track your water all the way through the process and where you're losing water and, uh, and how much you need overall to brew a given batch of beer. Uh, there's a dilution tool here. You can see it uh, allows you to calculate the uh, original gravity of, of a diluted sample. You can either dilute with water or you can dilute with uh, wort or beer. There's a weight to volume tool which is very handy for doing uh, calculations like how much uh, beer do I have less to, left in my keg. You can do that by actually weighing it if you know the weight of the empty keg. And finally, there's a carbonation tool for doing carbonation calculations, and that includes uh, uh, things like determining how much keg pressure you need to reach a given level of carbonation, as well as how much sugar you might want to add to your beer. And again, a lot of these tools are integrated directly into the recipe tools, uh, recipe systems, so you don't necessarily use, you have to use them separately, but 
but doing a quick calculation is quite handy. And finally, I should mention that there's a number of unit tools available. So if you want to convert, uh, so for example, temperature units, uh, specific gravity units, pressure units, weight units, volume units, those are all here, and you just type a number in, and it will automatically convert it for you. And then you can open any of these tools also by holding down the Shift key when you click on it, and it will actually open it up in a separate window. So for example, if you're working with a recipe and you want to display one of the tools on the side, uh, just do a Shift click and open up the tool, and you can work with it and move it wherever you want. So that's a quick overview of the tools in Beersmith 2. If you want more information about Beersmith 2 or you want to learn about homebrewing, please visit our website at beersmith.com.